I am releasing my game pretty soon, and I want my game to be in a good state, with not many bugs, preferably zero, but yeah, that's impossible. But anyway, I decided to just open a notepad and play through the whole game, and just write down everything from bugs to things I thought I would need to change. And let's just say, the list grew pretty quickly. Which wasn't necessarily bad, since that would probably mean there would be less bugs on launch. But on the other side, I quickly saw the amount of work that had to be done also increase. Which is not something I'm too happy about. So, after I completed my playthrough, I was left with 36 bugs or changes that I wanted to make. And yeah, then I just put on some music and started mindlessly programming, trying to fix everything. And slowly but steadily, I went through all of them. When I was done with one, I just put done in caps lock before it. When I was sort of done, I put sorta done. And when I thought I fixed it, but I wasn't sure, I just put probably done. And yeah, then you also have this. Something you don't want to see, but sometimes I just couldn't find what the fuck was wrong and what was causing the bug. And then I gave up, put some question marks down and went to the next one, as I didn't want to waste too much time on each of them, as I had a ton more to go through. I guess most of the things speak for themselves what they are. Most of them are a bit weird in how they're worded, or just really short, and you probably don't understand them, but hey, I do, and that's what matters. I don't have a ton of footage of me fixing everything, but I do have footage of this one. Let me explain. If you for example complete the scan on a computer, and before it completes, you've already walked to the door. Then when it completes, it will unlock the door. And then when you collide with the trigger, it will open the door. But because you're already standing inside the trigger, you don't collide with it again, and thus the door doesn't open. This issue was relatively easy to fix. Whenever the door gets unlocked, it just checks whether or not the player is already inside the trigger, and if that's the case, it opens. So yeah, not too complicated. And I also have footage of this one. The problem with the lift was, it was a little bit buggy. You could for example stand on top of the lift, and it would still work. And overall, the collision for when the lift should close and go up was just not really good. So yeah, I fixed those things, and while I was doing that, I also improved the code, as it was a bit messy before, and now it's just a bit cleaner. So yeah, I pretty much fixed most of them now. I created this notepad on the 15th of August. And since then, I've still been using it to write everything down from bugs to things I want to change. So yeah, it has greatly expanded since, and I'm already in the 70s. So, I guess that's a good thing. That's already 70 less things that could go wrong at launch, I hope. Speaking of launch, be sure to wishlist it if it looks interesting, as I'm launching it this Friday. You would really appreciate it. This one wasn't on my to-do list, but I wanted to do it anyway. I wanted to redo all of the voice lines for the game. All of them. Why? Well, the current ones were like one year old. And yeah, my English has improved since then. And most importantly, I made some changes in what I said. And yeah, I could just only update the voice lines of which I changed the text, but then it might sound weird when you compare it to the older voice lines. So I re-recorded every line. My part was about 10 minutes of audio. It did take a lot longer to record everything, obviously, but when I was done, I exported every line individually, and in Unreal, I started updating everything. For context, I have my own subtitle system that handles playing voice lines. It works based on this data table. In this data table, I can easily specify the audio file and the subtitles. And then I use this piece of code to play a voice line. The play dialog note is a custom function I made to speed things up, as otherwise I would be placing the same notes over and over again. I decided it was also time to update the way the voice lines were named in the data table, as it wasn't really organized, and now I think it's better. And when I was done, I also updated the player voice lines and the ones from the guide. And now everything is up to date again. That said, thanks for watching. The game is coming out this Friday, so be sure to wishlist it, as it helps me out a lot. Thanks.